Hey there, this is Luis from Pedapal Effects. Welcome to the YouTube channel. Today I want to share with you how to test a latching foot switch that is very common to find in handmade or boutique pedals with true bypass design. This tape or 9 pin switch is the part with more abuse over time on the pedal and it's a great idea to know how to test them. The orientation of the switches will be perpendicular to the largest side of the pins. In this case, this will be the first switch, this is the second one and this is the third one. The common pin of each line will be the one in the middle and depending on the position of the foot switch, this common pin will be connected to this one, this common pin to this one and this common pin to this one. Pressing the foot switch, now the common pin will be connected to this pin, this common pin to this one and this common pin to this one. And also it should not be now any connection between those pins. Alright, let's make the test of this particular foot switch that came defected from factory and that is a good example for this video. For this test we are going to need a multimeter with dials or continuity measurement option. Most of the multimeters will gonna generate a beat sound during the test, but the important thing here is to see the readings of the multimeter display that should be near to zero. That will indicate us that there is a properly connection between the pins that we're testing. Okay, because we want to do a continuity test, we can take any of the two leads of the multimeter and place it in one of the external pins of the first line, and the second lead to the common pin and see if we have any readings. So far, those two pins are not connected. In this case, we must have a reading in these two pins. We are having a reading and it's near to zero, so we have a proper connection. Now that we know that those last pins are connected, these two pins must be connected also. By making the test, we are not having any readings. Let's make the same test for this last one and also we are not having any readings so this line is also defective. We have to check also that there is no connection between the common pins and the lower pins in this position of the foot switch. We press the foot switch and now these two pins must be connected and also these two and these two. So let's make the readings. And we are need zero so we have a proper connection here. On these two pins we are not having any readings so there is no connection between them. And also we are having the same problem with these two pins. At the end I can say that this first switch line is working properly but there is not any connection between the common pin and the external pin of this line, no matter the position of the foot switch, and also the same case for this last line. So these two lines are defective and therefore this foot switch is not in working condition. Alright, this is all for now, I hope that you like this video and find it useful. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will appreciate a lot your comments down below. Thanks again for watching and see you soon, keep rocking, cheers!